everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Achtung Cthulhu Tactics. Franz here as always and this is a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Today we've got Achtung Cthulhu Tactics which is developed by Oryx Digital and published by Ripstone. It's a turn based strategy where you're in a war against Nazis but there is a darker evil that lurks in the shadows. So there's going to be lots of different sort of mechanics in this game from the usual something like XCOM as you're having, having to harness the powers of light and dark, or light versus dark I should say. I was going to key for this guys, so please bear that in mind. I will leave the Steam link down below so you can have a little gander. We're going to be going into a brand new campaign so you guys can see a little bit of a chunk at the start of what you're getting. First up though we have the options. Got some nice gameplay, you get tutorial text. We're going to leave that on for the duration of this. You can even have the delay for the tooltip. The display you've got here, you've got a uh, V full screen, V strength, if you want any of that on, you can change this if you wish to. Graphics, nice graphic options you got there as well. Audio, a lot of audio options for you, so you can change that around. Mouse and keyboard, you've got things there, you can also change your key bindings and you can play it by controller. So, without further ado, let's head into a new campaign. We're just going to do this, uh, campaign A, so enter custom campaign name or use, so we're going to just call it the Smash, Smash Gaming Story. <laughs> we're going to, have, going to have it just on normal just now so you guys can see a little bit of it. So let's begin Oxhorn. It is late 1944, and after the D-Day landings and months of hard fighting, the Allies close in on Germany's border. Soon, the Nazis plan to launch the audacious counterattack through the Ardennes Forest, known as Operation Watch on the Rhine, hoping to split the Allied armies and hurl their circling enemies back into the sea. Supplementing the Third Reich's conventional troops are the darker forces of the Nazi occult, the sinister Black Sun, wielders of arcane magics and tamers of captive horrors, and their bitter rivals, the Nachtwolf. The Night Wolves, who harness advanced experimental weaponry to rule the battlefield. Both have recently been observed in the Ardennes, and in a quiet, seemingly forgotten corner of the forest, known locally as Arduino, other eldritch forces also begin to stir. When the local resistance sent word to London that a terrifying new secret weapons facility is being built beneath the forest surface, the Allies' own occult forces, Britain's Section M and the U.S.'s Majestic, send an airborne task force to investigate. But the message is a trap, and an entire parachute battalion is lured to its death in a brutal ambush. Only Charlie Company of Badger's Commandos, under the command of Captain Eric Badger Harris and U.S. Sergeant Brandon Carter, survive after being blown off course by mysterious winds. Fleeing into the arms of the forest, they go to ground in the abandoned Chateau Limoges. There, they manage to get a garbled radio message back to HQ. And in response, London sends two of its finest special operatives, French resistance leader Ariane Dubois and Corporal Aki the I Singh. Their mission, rendezvous with Charlie Company, and find out exactly what the Nazis are up to in this ancient woodland known as the Forest of Fear. Mademoiselle Dubois, Corporal Singh, your orders are to make your way behind enemy lines, then proceed through the forest to the appointed rendezvous point where you will meet Captain Harris, Sergeant Carter, and any other survivors from Operation Fallen Angels. You will engage and defeat any enemy forces you encounter en route. Secure a forward operating base, and then report back with your findings. So already we're seeing quite a lot in the game where there's some very, very stellar voice acting going on. Now, I think I do need to up the voices a little tweak for you guys, so we'll get that done as soon as we can. Uh, move the camera, so we can just do this, so we can move the camera. Ooh, very pretty game though, very nice looking game. Now I'm going to quickly just jump in here and go to the audio, voice volume. We're going to bring that up a little bit. To, we'll bring it up to about 85. I kind of kept the rest of it down, but I think whether we're in the game, it's going to be a little bit lower, so let's just do that. If it gets too loud, it gets too loud. I will take down the interface volume though a little bit so we're not hearing this too much right okay so to move the unit 
uh, highlight a valid tile using the cursor and press right mouse button so we can right mouse button so they seem to be moving at the same time got nice uh, you got a parrot on your shoulder or something or is that wait is that a purple drag that is a purple dragon I think or Drake one of the two all right so we got that's a similar icon all right so 10 tries with the because so this this and let's see interact Leave this to me. keep an eye for the uh, for any other commandos who dropped in we've not heard back from them I suspect an ambush So each character has an individual resource called action points, very similar to the way anything is done in regards to turn base. You have your action points, and characters start with 12 AP. AP is used for movement and actions. During exploration mode, movement doesn't cost AP. All right, so we're in an exploration mode. Interesting. The enemy are here. Well, hello. That's not freaky at all. Alright, okay, so we're in combat now. So let's see. The direction in which your units are looking matters. Units each have a reveal code which reveals the dark areas of the map known as a shroud. Set them in the direction which your characters are looking with a mouse and rest. Okay, so. Let's drag you here. And we'll make you face that way. Right, so. You can see here we've got an enemy here. So to attack an enemy, select the fire weapon. And then alternatively use the right mouse to enemy to quickly attack them. Leave this to me. Ha. Well, missed. Units in cover gain a defensive bonus. Cover is shown by a shield. Uh, yellow sort of shield here shows the cover which is flanked by an enemy unit. Flank an enemy ignores the cover's defense bonus. Always try and end your moving cover. Right, so we're gonna move you over here. I'm gonna have your cone facing that way. Hello. Ah, now we get to see you. So it's got a Nax Wolf Grunt. Rank and file troops. So kind of standard trip here, I'm guessing. Take a fire! There we go. So units can cover an area of protective fire using Overwatch. Your unit will attack any enemy attempting to move or shoot in the highlighted area. Tend to watch, click the Overwatch icon in the action bar and choose an area of cover. You can actually see here, like, it's already given you, like, down here, sm sort of small action. Like, this is going to have that, that will have that. I'm guessing over here is, it won't do anything. Right, so we're going to enter Overwatch here so we can confirm our Overwatch angle. We're going to just put it right here. This to me. And also, right... A unit cannot move, attack, or use other action after the user watch. Select the end turn button. Alright, there we go. Now it's the enemy's turn. Let's see what they get up to. Help me. Fire. Firing. You know they actually gain stress levels as well. Hello there. Firing. Got a stress there. He's missed. But they do have stress levels to consider as well. So, luck and health. Luck acts as a shield against damage. Luck is fully restored at the end of combat. Once a character's luck has run out, additional damage reduces a character's health. Health can only be refilled with medkits or by completing the mission. Characters suffer stress, so this little icon here, from taking damage, being attacked or by unknown or eldritch entities, and by seeing their allies become gravely hurt or knocked out. When a character's stress meter is full, they'll panic and act erratically which can both harm you and the enemy. So it's almost seen like something like similar to the way, I, I, I know I compare this to XCOM because it's probably the best example of this type of title. Is XCOM will have your, like they'll maybe become, like it's saying here, erratic and they'll get, you know, str not stressed, but they'll start acting erratic and running about, shooting at either their friend or foe, so on and so forth. So this is very similar in that sort of thing. So you see, you can, which both harm you and the enemy, always keep your eye on character stress level. Alright, so we got you here. Uh, so it looks like we're going to hit for 50% damage. Uh, okay, you know what? We'll take that shot. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Another enemy is no more. Right. Momentum. Your squad has a special shared resource called Momentum MP. It can be used for character skills and to provide additional movement beyond the range governed by a character's remaining MP. Use one to sprint. 
So let's see, where is it? Oh wait, it just automatically brings that in. Okay, well we definitely want to do that. And so we want to do facing that way. Ah, I thought that was a cut off of the map. Fire secondary weapon. Why do you keep saying help me? So combat has ended. Okay, so we can just come up here. Alright. So Karna Hearts should rendezvous with you in the forest. They're robust fellows and should still be alive. <laughs> should be? Ah, hello there, chaps. So we get Captain Eric Harris and Sergeant Carter here. All right, so we want to head in this way. We got anything yet? Nope. Let's head over this way. That appears to be a dead end. So I guess we're going down here. So we got something here, so we want to set. I do wish that, like, in this mode you could do it one by one, but I understand the whole notion behind it. You can't. So let's interact with this object. The French resistance is active in that area, harassing supply lines, etc. Their handiwork should be obvious. There's some eerie music going on in the background. What in the hell? Oh dear. So you can see it's almost like a shadowing of them. Alright, so we're in combat. Right, so we want to get you up to here. And you want to face that way. We are flanked for some reason. Right, so you can actually see that. Alright. Don't want to be using you yet. I think what we'll do is we also send you up. And you can face that way as well. Is there not anything going to come out? That's a big door. I don't trust a big door. Alright, so you have a rather interesting weapon. We're going to leave you in Overwatch just now. We're then going to have you come down... Yeah, this way. Let's go that way and see if we can get a hold of... Get some eyesights on him. There we go. You're out of the shadows now. Fire secondary weapon. I said so did that. And we'll leave you in that. Firm facing angle. Right, you, sir. I want you. Can you hide behind that tree? You can. Do you have eyes on him? No. So you'll keep an eye on him. You should fire. Wait, there's three of them? Ah, there's one at the back there. Alright, we're going to take a shot and see what happens. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Another enemy is no more. I will keep the angle that we're on now. And... Yeah, we'll keep your angle. We'll end our turn. What in the heck have you? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so he may be a little bit stressed and we don't want him losing any health. The music is eerie as heck though, which is pretty great. So right, we got this over here, we got you over here. You can melee attack him. That could be pretty good. You know what? Go melee him. Aha! You missed! I like that slow motion thing. Am I going to stab him through the... Never mind. Alright, so we have that. We can also use a secondary fire and fire on you. Excellent, excellent. We can fire again. Yeah, you know what? Fire again. No, you missed. Never mind. Oh, so you can kind of actually shoot as many times. Excellent. So as long as you've got MP, you can actually use that. That's actually pretty great. There we go. Combat has now ended. 
which is nice. We are safe for now. Everybody head over here. There we go. So we killed certain enemies. We got some experience and so on and so forth. We got fight your way to the mansion and let's continue. Alright, so we're entering the mansion. We got experience. Uh, do they actually get any levels? There's a party level. Okay, so you can see here health points, range accuracy. They've got lots of different things going on here. I'm assuming this will actually, once this goes up, you'll be able to distribute it in some way. Thrown bombs. Mills bombs. A simple and grade which sprays steel sharp known that on detonation. Used by British forces since the First World War. Alright, so we have two. So, ooh. So we've got side quests and story missions here. New skills are available for this character. Okay, let's see. Skills. And we. So over penetrate. So, character's skill tree comprises of three main branches and three combo branches, each containing purchable purchasable active and passive skills skills can be purchased with skill points which are earned by completing missions okie dokie each character has a unique starting skill which is free to learn information on the current selected skills is displayed so you can see up here melee a make a ranged attack with a main weapon against all enemies in straight line well, we definitely want to have that don't we all right so leveling up uh, complete three missions in order to retrain don't really have anything else at the moment but i'm believe so ooh, ooh. give me that there we go so this is items you can have this is what is actually equipped do they get anything nope then nope i mean weapon mod i notice you can actually put on weapon mods which is cool as well uh you train life drain deal e deal damage equal to half your willpower stat to target enemy Okay, what have you got? Train charge. Move towards a select enemy and make a melee attack with a bonus damage. Nice. I think. Uh, double this character's reveal cone range until their next turn. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. So, there are two types of missions. Story missions, progressive main story. And second both missions give bonus XP and equipment. Completing a story will lock out a current side, qu a side and replace it with a new one. So basically, if you want to, you can gain some extra goodies like extra weaponry, and you can see here we've got basic medium scope, or you can carry on with the story. So this window includes information on the currently selected mission, such as objectives and any related items. All right, so in selecting the select mission, so we want to kind of go for this uh, Operation Heron. All right, let's do this. And of course you get to select your, so a character's dossier screen including skill tree and loadout screens can be accessed via this. So you can do that. So with these goodies. I think we're good with this. I think we're good with this. you've only encountered low level Nachtwolf troopers. But there's usually a commander lurking around in the background somewhere pulling their strings. See if you can find that Nachtwolf lieutenant and put a wee dent in their chain of command. I love the fact that this game has used the word wee. <laughs> There's like, put a wee dent in them. Alright, so this is the exploration mode again. I want to kind of keep to somewhat similar cover here. So we're heading up here, so let's go with it. Alright, so we got enemies. Uh, we've got one in there. Hiding behind this rock. And do we have one there? Yes. Honestly, you have to kind of really focus in to be able to see. Sometimes you might not be able, because it's almost like a one of those things you catch at the side of your eye. Alright, so we're in combat mode now. So, we want you up here with your cone of fire. Actually, no, 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 no. You would be flanked from there, right? I'm going to put you there, your cone of fire there. Let's see if we can get a nice reveal. We've got two of them there. So, we can see you. We can fire our weapon, no? Uh, 50, 5, 5, 5. Where are you? You two over there. I believe that might be a commander then. No, they're all stars. Never mind. Hello! Goodbye! Enemy. Right, so we're gonna put you in Overwatch and we're gonna confirm your. Ooh, I kinda wanna actually put it that way. To be fair. Right, I wanna move you. Ooh, that may be a bit close. I move you here. No, because then you won't get anything. There's six of them. Because one's up that way. I'm gonna move you. I know it's. Uh, actually, go there. Keep an eye that way. Hello. So 
So that will give us 60%, damage of 10, and critical. So you can actually see the damage it's going to cause. Nice. Excellent. We could use a momentum piece and then hopefully take this guy out. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to keep the reveal angle there. You're up next. I mean, you would be flanked from there. That's the only problem. But... Um, we've taken down one. Send you up there just now. I have an idea. I wonder if you ever get to use our dragon thing. Oh, you can't see him now. Okay, well, you can keep your overview there. We'll have you come forward a little bit. How far can you throw that? You can throw that pretty far. Have a grenade! Let's see some explosions! Very nice effect there, actually. Very, very nice. Alright, so I believe we are pretty good. I'm going to leave that there because I believe he might not actually be dead. And we're going to end our turn and see what happens. That is freaky! Hello? I missed. Okay. So we get two over here. I think he's, he must be still there. Yeah. Ow! Hey! Alright, so that one's retreating, so it's probably because we've done this enough damage. He's running down this way, so let's see what you're going to do. Ah, okay, so he's taking some stress damage here, uh, which is basically almost like a shield, which is pretty cool. Right, you have a straight fire shot, so over penetrate, make a range attack against all enemies in line. Uh, you know what, we're just going to fire this straight at your head. Bye bye. Ooh, that just seems really powerful. Now, why is that telling me it's broken, though? I want to go up here. Is there anything lying around? I don't know, because we can't actually see your code of fire. So, I'm going to send you that way just now, just to see if we can review that. Or reveal that, should I say? Nope, nothing there. Okay. He's still a little bit stressed, but we can definitely get them into a little bit of a uh, cover now. Ah, hello. Command specialist powers, abilities, and boost precision. You also have a knife that I'm not too fond of. Uh, ward light, double the character's reveal cone. Uh, why don't we just... I mean, 65% would do 15 damage. Let's try that. Excellent, there we go. Now, we could fire a secondary weapon again, which would do 10 damage and use up the momentum. It does have a da- Actually, it does have quite a good- sh Dang. Never mind. Okay, what do we want to do is we want to move you- Actually, we're going to- Can you move slightly further? No. Now, is there, a, there is a way to get around here and flank them, because we've got a guy up this way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you up to here. I will use an MP, but I definitely- yeah, that's definitely where I want you to go. Alright, so you could have you reload, you could change angle, we could fire the weapon. 30% chance, but a medium damage. I could go straight up to him, and be like, hello. But then I feel like that's going to put him in a little bit of a precarious situation. So let's, let's just... Never mind. You could totally see that from the actual animation was going to face that way, so... Let's see, we're going to have you reveal cone here. You've already got your reveal cone set there. Alright. He does have 4 AP to still use, but there's nothing to really... I mean, we could reload that. You've got one shell. No, you've got luck left. Where's your shells on this? That's it. That must be it, so it's just a bar. I would like that to be more of an actual, like, a, ca a number count. Right, you know, you have three... Shots left. Ow! Hey! Okay, so he's taking one damage and one stress. Ooh, he's taking a little bit of damage as well. Alright. Inspire through loyalty. Oh dear. So charge, uh, hmm, I mean, I 
could be really good. If you take down the lieutenant, it might lower the morale. Life drain? Well, damage 12, okay. We have you who could melee attack, but also do ward light. I think we're going to do this and check it out. Go for it! Charge! And... Stabby, stabby! Bye-bye! So I'm wondering, does that... Because then we can place ourselves back behind here and use the ward light, because we've got a guy down here. There we go. So we're going to move you forward ever so slightly and keep your ward light that way. I can see ward light because it's obviously this one is ward light. But we do have... Take shot. Take shot. Nope, missed. Okay, never mind then. What if we use ward light? What's it going to do? I'm wondering if ward light, like, obviously you can see him now. So I'm wondering if you see them, you get additional attack on them. Like attack percentage. Oh. Ooh, hello. Still don't have view of you because that says it's got 20%. So I'm wondering. I'm just to move here. Face down. Still don't have view on you. Still at 20%. So it must default unless you can get them into the light. That almost feels weird. Drag them into the light. Let's see. I know this would be slightly closer, but. You have, eh, I mean, it costs you six to fire. It's not really great, but we can certainly keep you in light. Anybody got some points? You do have some points. I mean, can, yeah, can see there, like now this person has been revealed at 60%. That's actually really nice. Bye-bye. All right. Still get this guy here. You do have two points left, but you don't have enough to do an overwatch because we don't have any MP left. So it's going to end our turn just now. Where the hell are you going? I'm going into overwatch. We could charge and stab him in the back, but wait a minute. 15 plus 10. Yes, please. Go. Run. And goodbye to you. Stab. Wait, what? I missed an 80 It's clearly over. It's clearly XCOM. <sighs> Why don't we just melee attack him then? Oh, he's staggered as well. Excellent. Goodbye to you. Help me. Don't know why you're saying help me. He didn't shoot you. So combat has ended, and it looks like we're heading that way, but I think we have to go up here so we can bring everybody to together. So bring them all up, which is nice, nice. Carry on in here. Okay, so it looks like we might be entering combat somewhere. Wait a minute, what? Oh, hello. Where the hell are you? I could see... Oh, there we go very lightly i do like this it's 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 something that's taking the the turn-based tactics and kind of flipping it on its head a little bit it's very nicely done all right let's see so you've got you there no you were there i think let me see ah. so if i was to put you there that would cost you eight but you can't fire unless you have six all right let's see we want to try and get into some positions here and see what's about. Anything down that way? No. Okay, so you're going to keep an eye on that just now. And you bring yourself over here. Moving out. Oh, so we get two of them there. Alright. You can fire a secondary weapon. It'll do 10 damage. There's quite a few of them over there, actually. So we're going to put them on the Overwatch. Use what? Oh, there's quite a. Oh, okay. So they're all that way. There's like none that way. It seems. Um. Can I want to do that? Get anybody to deal with this way? No. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's just turn your facing that way just now. 
Apparently, you can. F that does 80%. I suppose it's because he's actually, like, quite clearly in a cone of fire. Um, there's nowhere for you to really go. Except here. I could actually put him there, but oh well. Right. He is on Overwatch, so, I mean, if they move, they're going to take a little bit of damage. Oh, and one taken down, and apparently his guts are going everywhere. That looks different. Okay, sure. Ow! Hey, I'm over here! God dang it. If we could throw a grenade here, that'd be really nice. Who is it that has the grenades? Is it you? Yeah, you do have them, but did we get a particular amount of them? Stalker? Technologically augmented machine gunner. Excuse me? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, oh, come on. You know what? Just do that. Oh, nice. What? Hey. Just you calm down there, buddy. So we're going to move you to here. He can fire his secondary weapon, it's 40%. It's 40% in the mall. But if we could do damage. Because I mean, you can't really do anything else from there. Nah. 40%, clearly not going to be able to do anything. He could fire his secondary weapon. Try and take one of them down at least. There we go, excellent. Okay, so that's one down. I'm going to keep your cone of fire that way. Nope, that way. Reload. Get your cone of fire that way. You do have 12 to still use, so I feel like you should come down here. Just to make sure nothing's there to give us any nice nasty surprises. I mean, there is whatever the hell this is. Oh, wait, is there. What in the heck is that? Okay then, we've got the detection of some shadows, but again, we can't see exactly what they are, but until we actually get them in our line of sight, but they look kind of big. Which worries me. Is there one in there as well? Oh my god. Okay. Things are about to get dicey. You're going to fire him, aren't you? Wait, 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 where are you going? They're kind of like going way out here. I'm like it's some of the ambient sounds that's going on as well. It's pretty incredible. Right, so what we want to do is we want to try and get rid of these guys. So, I mean, he's right there. Lee would do that. You could fire upon him. Do it. Nope, you missed. Try again. There we go, right, so that's your AP used up though. Overwatch, and put yourself there so you can keep an eye on him. What I want to try and do is get ourselves all in this area, because there seems to be a little bit of cover. So you don't overwatch just now. You are not on overwatch, so I'm going to put you here. Face that way. Any damage. Hmm. Fire! Please don't miss. Please do not miss. Oh my good heaven, you missed. It's like he's right there. Right, so that's taking his health down a little bit at least. Fire secondary weapon, come on. Take him down. No, you missed. Okay, never mind then. Right, so you're down there, which I don't feels safe in having you down there because you've got that there so you're completely flanked. I'm going to bring you up here just now. Just focus on bringing these guys down first of all. Uh, yeah, take that shot. 
There we go, right. So that's one less to deal with. We can then change your cone to be that way. So if anything happens, we can see. And you are on Overwatch. You are... I mean, you do, you're do. you able to fire, but it's not sufficient enough. So I'm just going to leave it just now. Okay, so he's got a lot of stress levels going on right now. Sheesh. Oh, I don't trust you. Is there another one? There is another one. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Got another one here. Right, we do have eyes on... You missed. But his cover is technically broken. And where the heck is he going? Very slow motion. He ran away. They're both running back this way. Oh, no, you're... They're switching positions, quite literally. Got a lot of units piling up this way. Which isn't too great. Marked for death. What? Excuse me. What the hell is this? This unit will be attacked automatically next turn unless line of sight is broken. Okay. Let's put you there. Build that. Okay, go on to Overwatch. Make a move. Yeah, I'm gonna bring him down this way as well. No, go for him. Hello, how you doing there, buddy? I we need to reload as well. Dang it! Fire a secondary weapon. No, it should be enough to kill him. Excellent. Right, we're going to change your code angle to be there. They're going to put you over to here. Can't do overwatch. Insufficient momentum. On my way. Do you have eyes on anybody? I mean, you, you do have 40% in him. Take that shot. Let's see what we can do. Yes, there we go. Okay. I'll try again, actually. Yes, excellent. All right, so change your angle that way, though. Uh, I don't think anybody has AP to enough to fire. I mean, he could fire. But 10%, I don't want to risk it. I want to keep him just facing down this way. All right, so enemy's turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, will you stop marking my guy? Wait, what the hell was that? So yeah, I want to head down this way to avoid them, but I'm liking what I'm seeing in regards to, like, well, it's really eerie as hell evil-like music. You've got a range of different characters, you've already unlocked a few of the abilities, you've already seen the skill trees that you can actually go through. Uh, some very vastly different mechanics from what you're used to with the whole... It's almost like Line of Sight, but it's like you're shining the light in the darkness. They're just It's kind of changed from that whole Line of Sight type thing. You're marked for death. You're over here. If you fire, you have fair 5% chance. Okay, what if we bring you closer? Do so you have a, you know, a bit better lighting? Right, let's see. Yep, take a shot. Goodbye to you. Right, so that's you get that. We can send you... No, there's no point in using Overwatch right now. We can change your cone of sight, though, to that way. Right, so now that we've got that down, we just need to get ourselves in here. Now, you are marked for death because of whatever line of sight has caught you. There is one, two that way. So I'm going to bring you over this way and have you face there. I'll put you in Overwatch on that bit, though. Right, you're there, and we're going to put you here. You do have a shot on that, but it's fairly percent. You know what? Take it. See if we find out. Ah, hello, Commander. Ah, and we got you. Excellent. So I'm going to leave your cone of sight that way. We're going to bring you over. 
And we might be able to take that commander out, actually. Maybe. 60%? Yeah, take the shot. There we go. That's the commander down. I'm going to just use some ward light to get a little bit of a better you know, view of things. Nothing else over there just now, so we only get this guy to contend with. Let's move your corner site that way slightly. There we go. Yep, it seems to be that's what we've got to contend with, which is excellent. I think we're good to end our turn. So it seems to be we only get this guy. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Take that back. How many enemies is there? Like, seriously. Oh. So we get two over here, but we don't have line of sight on them quite yet. So they're managing to avoid us a little bit. <laughs> Good shot. He's coming forward slightly. You're marked for death. Wonderful. Kill him. Taking the shot. And again. Nope, never mind, you missed. Next time, Charlie. Next time. Let's see, if we were to... I mean, would that be able to fire there? Because I know you could kind of keep yourself out. Yes. Fire over! What? Oh dear. Fire again! There we go, right, okay, there we go, right. I'm going to put you in Overwatch to face down that way in case anything decides it wants to come. Walkabouts, you are marked for death, but that should expire. Can bring you over this week. Can't reload just now. You also can't reload. You need to go this way. What we got here? Just a normal troop, but take it. Hello there, how you doing? Doing good? Goodbye. Never mind, it's like XCOM again. What in the? Oh, man. Too easy. Whoa, what the hell happened? See, I know there was Mark of Death, but... Jeez, that seems to be a new unit down there. Where are you going? Well then. Okay. Life drain. Deal damage based on willpower to an opponent. So. Hmm. Can we get you back up? It's possible to get you back up. Get your butt up! There we go. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, I don't even, I want to get down and see what the heck that is. Hello there. Ah, it's a long range specialist. Wonderful. That's what's shooting me. So we got eyes on you now. I mean, I could do this, see what we can do. Nope. Well, he's up and running again, so we're going to just reload, and then we'll... Hmm. I don't quite know where to put him. I'm just going to reload that as well. You get 12. I want you over there. On my way. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. 85% in this. Wonderful. That's great. Great. Crud. 85% <laughs> in missies. <sighs> so you've marked me for death. So mark for death does seem to be that it will completely just floor them. Annoyingly. Is this guy just running away? I feel like he's just running away. Will you come back here, please? I wish I had words with you. On my way. Get back here. Leave this to me. Well, that's one down. Which is great. Or, well, let's fire a secondary weapon and see if we can actually 
Excellent, there we go. Superb, that's that one down. We're gonna then put you behind a little bit of cover. And we'll have you on Overwatch here, covering that cone there. You're marked for death, which isn't too great, but we should be able to use you to get right next to him. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right? Nice. Try that again. Excellent. No more mark for death. We're going to actually change our cone of viewage this way, though. We can now bring these guys in. I'm going to put you there with your cone of fire that way. Word light. Anything? No. Let's probably put it that way. Nope, nothing. Okay, no problem. Gonna bring you over here because I believe there's a unit this way somewhere. There. Right. You're over here, so we could actually bring you to here. And we'll end our turn. Leave this to me. Wondering what they're gonna do. Oh. oh. Probably take a shot at him because yeah. Cause he's uh, he was actually surrounded. Well not surrounded, but Right, so you're over there. What if I went over and said hello? Oh, you're an over Ooh. Hello there, how you doing? Cause this gun seems a bit more like shotgunny, although I can't even use it here, apparently. So I'll just use this on you. And again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> there we go. Combat is now ended, which is superb. Now, the only thing is, as you see, his health remains low. That's because we don't have a med kit on us just now. So we're just going to head over this way. Let's see what we got here. Interact. There's been reports of some heavy vehicles moving through the area. Whatever's going down, down must be big. Let's head over here. There we go. So we've got that at the 100 experience. Hopefully we get to see some of the experience going up now. There we go. We've got a level. So everybody's getting a skill point. And we've got a med kit. And we've got the medium scope. So now what we can do is see, you can hear items can be equipped via the loadout screen, which is part of the character's dossier. Which we just want to do that just now. Right, so weapon mod. You could put that on him or you could... I'm going to give him the med kit. Then we're going to go down to skills. You can see here, health gain, 5 additional, 5 additional luck. Increase the character's leadership stat. Increase range and accuracy. I think we want that. We can do here, range boost, willpower. Increase the willpower, leadership and range boost. I want to get range boost on these guys first of all. Speed decreases character speed, willpower, and range boost. Either willpower, because her attack life train deals with half of your willpower stats. So if we have more willpower, it's going to be better that way. And we just want to jump into loadout, because you've got that. You've got short range. You've got weapon mod. All right, so let's see. You have shotgun, you have that. You probably want to put... Ooh. So that's a long range weapon, but we could put that on that. Create a little bit of a, give us a little bit of extra goodies. Increases that. So you get your skill points used, you've used it. Melee boost increases melee accuracy. Health increases health. Uh, I think I want a range boost as well on you. So yeah, guys, with that said, I think I'll round up the smash look there for Uh Cthulhu Tactics. You can find the Steam link down below. If you're enjoying what you see in Smash Game, be sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.